Kelly. And I'm Casey. And we are so glad you are here with us today. Today, we're learning how to be thankful. Oh, Casey, let me try. Let okay. me try. I am thankful for my treehouse, and for you, and for all my friends out there. That's so good, Melly. Oh, and I'm thankful for songs and music. Well, that's a good thing because we're about to sing a song right now. Really? Really. Oh, yay! Okay, everybody, let's stand up and get ready to sing a song to God. This song is called We Thank You. You guys, as we sing this out, we're going to thank God for all of the good things that He's given us and done in our lives. So let's sing together. We gather here to give you thanks for all the good things you have done. We set our gaze on your grace. Love so constant, love so strong. Sing everything good. Everything good is from you. Father, so faithful and true. Sing, let every song. Let every song we sing say thank. Good job singing that out. Let's sing We Gather Here. We gather here to sing your praise for your power and your might. Set our hearts on your name. You are Jesus, you are life. Sing everything good. Let every song Thanking God, you guys. Wow! That was a great song! Great job, friends. You can sit down now. Casey! Yeah, Melly? I have another thing that I'm thankful for. What's that? I am thankful for all the stories that you tell me. Really? Well, I'm thankful for the Bible because the Bible teaches me all of those stories. Really? Really. Would you like to hear one right now? Oh, can we? Sure. Let's hear a story from the Bible about being thankful. Friends, let's put on our listening ears. I have my listening ears on. What about your thinking cap? Oh yeah, let's put on those too. And let's hear our Bible story. This is thankful. God provides. 
This is Moses, who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake and fled Egypt to live with the Midianites. But God called Moses back to Egypt to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Uh. God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey. Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. What's that? And each night God gave them meat. <laughs> the people were still thirsty and they were mad at Moses saying, did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God and God told Moses to strike a rock and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. Great job listening, guys. And thinking. Today we saw that there are so many things to thank God for. God always took care of his people and he promises to always take care of you. I am thankful for that. Now it's time to sing a Bible verse about that. Ooh, which one? Psalm 107, 1. What does it say? It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. That does sound like something we should sing. Do you want to try? Yeah. Kids, what about you? Do you want to try singing our song? Great, then stand up with us. And let's sing Psalm 107, 1. All right, you guys, let's clap our hands like this. This song is called Psalm 107.1. This verse says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful life endures forever. Now you guys, as we sing out this song, I want you guys to be thinking of all the ways that God has been good to you. And we're gonna thank him for that, okay? So let's start by singing, give thanks to the Lord. And we're all gonna put our hands up like this. Here we go. For he is good. For he is good. For he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Yeah, yeah. Let's sing, give thanks to the Lord. Everyone put your hands up. Give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. Sing Psalm 107.1. Great job learning that verse. You can all sit down now. Casey! Yeah, Melly? 
I'm gonna try really, really hard to remember that verse. That's so great. But sometimes it's hard for me to remember things. Well, I have some good news for you then. What? Han is making a machine that is supposed to help us remember things. How's he doing that? Do you want to see? Oh, yeah! Okay, well, make sure your listening ears on and your thinking caps. Mine are! What about you, friends? Great! So let's watch Han's Memo B machine. This is Han's Memo B machine. Correction, this is my MEM018E machine. Just like I said, this is Han's Memo B machine. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Han. Hi, Bestos. What are you doing? I am working on MEM018E. Okay, what is that? It's my newest invention. It's supposed to help us remember things. This is very good invention, because I forget things all the time. This is why I am making it. Yay! Mm. Mm -hmm. Memoby. What? This machine's name is Memoby. No, no, no. The machine name is M-E-M-018-E. Hmm. I see. Mem o b Memoby. Okay, you can call it that, Bestos. But I need to get one more part for it, so it is very unstable. Will you remember not to touch it? Okay, brother. There is no way I will touch Memoby. Okay. I will be back soon. Just... Don't touch MEM018E. No, actually, don't touch anything. Okay, better. Hello, Memoby. My name is Bestos. My brother made you. And he told me um, something about you, something about not doing something. Wait, Han said not to touch you. But, but, I want to. Hmm. Oh, I know. He said you needed a part to be fixed, but maybe I can fix you with that part. I will touch you now. Ah! Oh, oh. Hey, Bestos. Hey, Han just sent me in to check on you because he said he really doesn't want you to touch this machine. But it looks like everything's okay. Relax, I hit this now. Please just let my floor. Bestos, what's going on? Bestos, did you touch the machine? Say! Oh no, Bestos, this is bad. This is really bad. Whoa! Okay, yeah. all right, all right, wait. Han's gonna be back in here in just a minute, and when he comes back, he'll fix all of this. I know you probably wanted to touch it because it's a super cool machine. You, you've never seen one before. You know, Bestos, what I hope you learned from all of this is that you have to be thankful and content with what you have. You know what that means? That means that we should be happy and satisfied with the things that we have in our life. But sometimes we see things like this and we want to touch it, we want to play with it, or, or, or we want to make it our own. But we should be thankful for what's in our life. And to be thankful means that we remember to be happy with the things that we have in our life. You know, even if you start talking backwards. Now, Bestos, will you remember to be content and be thankful for what you have? Okay, good. Now, I'm going to get Han, okay? And he's going to fix all this. But do not touch the machine, okay? All right. Just stand up, please. So you touched me 80180 And now all of your words are coming out backwards. Say. All right. Let me just do this. Okay. Now touch it. No, 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 no. no. It's okay, Bestos. Did it work? Did it work? Yay! I am back! And what have you learned? 
I learned that being thankful is remembering to be happy with what you have. And? And I learned to never touch a memory again. Good, Bestos. Wow, I feel like I'm going to be able to remember to be thankful. That's so good, Melly. And friends, remember that you can be thankful too. God loves you so much and he will always take care of you. So thank him for being such a great God. Thank you, God. And friends, thank you for joining us today to learn about being thankful. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.